Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about particular solution of a differential equation. So let me get started by sharing my computer screen with you. Find the particular solution of the differential equation square root of x squared plus 4 multiplied by dy dx dy by dx is equal to 1, where x is greater or equal to minus 2y of 0. That means y when x is 0 is 4. So uh, we will uh, basically... The solution we have been given square root of x square plus 4 times uh, dy dx is equal to 1 dividing by square root of x square plus 4 on both sides. We get dy by dx is equal to 1 over square root of x square plus 4. Uh, now we will do some substitution. Substitution. Let x is equal to 2 tan theta. Okay. Then x squared plus 4 is equal to 2 tan theta tangent of theta squared plus 4. And that is equal to 4 tan square theta plus 4. And if I take the <coughs> 4 outside, it is 1 uh, tan square theta plus 1, which is 4 secant square theta. Okay. So, <clears throat> x square plus 4 is equal to 4 is equal to 4 second square theta. And if I do the derivative, I get d Uh, no, and uh, x, we substituted x is equal to 2 tan theta. So dx is equal to 2 is equal to 2 derivative of tan theta is second square theta d theta. Okay, so that's dx. So now we can write... Uh, dy we know dy dy so let me create some space before I write anything so dy dy by dx is equal to 1 over square root of x square plus 4 or dy is equal to dx square root of x square plus 4. Okay, so we can write dy which leads to dy is equal to for dx I will write 2 second square theta, d theta, and square root of x squared plus 4 
will be square root of 4 secant square theta. Okay. So dy, which will lead to dy is equal to 2 secant square theta d theta divided by 2 secant theta. Okay. Or dy is equal to this 2 and this 2 in the numerator and denominator, they cancel, and the second square cancels with second theta. So dy is equal to second theta d theta, okay, and then from which y, if I integrate on both sides, y is equal to integration of second theta d theta, which is equal to ln natural logarithm of secant theta plus tan theta plus c, where c is integration constant. Integration constant. Okay. Now, if I move this a little bit up, we have uh, y is equal to ln of absolute value of second theta plus tangent of theta. Let's see. Now, we said uh, x is equal to tangent of theta. Sorry, 2 tangent of theta. So, which leads to tangent of theta is equal to x by 2. Now, secant square theta is equal to secant square theta plus tangent square theta is equal to 1. So, x by 2 square plus tangent square theta is equal to 1. Moving up a little bit, uh, we can write x square by 4 plus tangent square theta is equal to 1 or tangent square theta is equal to 1 minus seconds uh, x square by 4. Okay. Oh, I have to solve for secant square theta. So I did a mistake. Pardon me, I'll correct it. So secant square theta is one plus tangent square theta. The so secant square theta is equal to one plus x square by four. Okay. Or secant square theta is one is four plus x square divided by four. So secant of theta is equal to square root of 4 plus x square by 4 is equal to square root of x square plus 4. Whole thing is divided by 2. Okay, because square root of 4 is 2. Hence, hence y 
is equal to ln. For second theta, I can write square root of x square plus 4 by 2. And tangent of theta is x by 2 plus c. Okay. And then if I want to remove the 2 from the denominator, I will just change the integration constant because ln x square root of x square plus, plus 4 by 2 is ln square root of x square plus 4 minus 2. Similarly, ln of x by 2 is ln x minus ln 2. So I have minus 2 ln 2 that basically can be filed in the new integration constant c1. So basically I get y is equal to ln square root of x square plus 4 plus x plus c1. And thus, uh, <clears throat> okay. Now we are given, so if I move up a little bit, up here we are given y is zero. y0 has been given equal to 4. So, therefore, 4 is equal to ln square root of, this is x number, okay, ln square root of x square plus 4, x is 0 is um, square root of 2, square root of 4 is 2 plus 0 is 2 basically plus c1 or c1 is equal to 4 minus ln2 okay thus the final solution is y is equal to ln absolute, uh, absolute value of square root of x square plus 4 plus x plus 4 minus ln2 for c1. So this is your final solution. Okay. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, please share your this video with your friends you and your friends please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner if you want to contact me by email you can do so at sn underscore 88 at hotmail.com do not forget to watch me next time i'll be back with new problem new solution take care thanks for watching have a nice day see you next time